Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're staying safe and spending quality time with your loved ones. Today we'll be running X6.1.2. That's the easy path for completion and it's also a tech path. But before you guys jump in, if you don't have 3 or 4 rank 5 5 stars yet, I would suggest you to run the variants and get your squad stronger before you attempt 6.1. It will also be a good idea to farm some healing resources from Realm of Legend Winter Soldier and also stack up on those L2 class boosts and also energy refills. If you can open Suicide Masteries, they will also go a long way to shorten the X6 grind because they greatly increase your damage and with these increased HP pools, it's good to have an extra damage. But me, for the purpose of this video, to help people who don't have big rosters, I'm going to attempt it with 5 star rank 4s or 6 star rank 1s but feel free to bring stronger champs. As always it will be a 20 minute long video so I will leave timestamps in the description down below so feel free to skip ahead to any fight you like. And guys don't forget to like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you enjoy what you see that all of that really helps me out a lot. So the first fight was against Captain America OG, as you just saw, it was a very simple fight, I think it's just there to give your course name a charge. Uh, the global nodes for this quest are Special Delivery and Combo Party. Special Delivery, it will cause you to degen a big chunk of your health if you are unable to land a special attack on your opponent within 15 hits. So every 15 hits you have to land a special attack, otherwise you will lose a lot of health. And combo party gives you a cruelty buff for every 10 hits on your uh, combo meter. But if you lose it, you get 40% damage of your attack for every cruelty buff that you have. So guys, do not lose your combo. So the next fight is against Punisher 2099. Usually I would just go with a Corvus Glaive, a Magic or an Hyperion against him. But given my roster for this challenge, I have Proxima Midnight. So nothing too fancy about this fight. Just make sure that you don't let him use too much of his specials because his block damage is more. And apart from your usual special delivery and combo party global nodes, he also has an explosive personality. That is, if you hit in his block and he gets, for every hit, he gets one armor up. And after five armor ups, it explodes and reduces 25% of your health. So just be careful for that and make sure to check the alternative champs and also the suggested masteries for this fight. Next up we have Ultron Classic, now he's a robot and this fight will really demonstrate why I love Nebula so much. So if you're unaware, Nebula for every electric shock charges she has, she reduces the ability accuracy of robots. So what I'm trying to do here is to get a lot of charges. So because I have Proxima Synergy, I will start with 10, so already because of ability reduction, I will bypass not only the global node, but also I will not allow Ultron to evade. So I can just go in, give him hits without thinking that he will evade, or his, he will trigger his region or anything. And also I don't have to worry about throwing the special after 15 hits, because the electric shot charges, they also reduce the ability accuracy for the node, so I don't have to worry about losing health. So all you need to do is build up to your L2, Carry Ultron, transfer the charges and hit him with your L2 and he is dead. 
You could also do, use Medusa and Corvus for, for those fights because Medusa is also great against robots. Same things applies for this next fight against Nebula. Nebula is also a robot so you can either go ahead with Medusa or you could also use uh, Ghost or Corvus Glaive. Uh, pick, pick your choice, whoever is the stronger champ you have. I just went with Angela because I want to save Nebula for the upcoming fights. The boss and the sentinel that's gonna come up on Biohazard. But feel free to use anyone you'd like. Next we have Vulture, uh, same uh, nodes on global, special degree and combo party, very straightforward fight, the extra defender node he has is Oscillate 3, so he will go through phases of being in attack and defense, so if when he's on attack you will see a fury buff, when he's on defense you will see like an armor buff, so during his uh, defensive mode he just stays back, he does not use special and anything. And when he's on attack mode, his damage increases and he becomes very aggressive. He will come and charge at you and will use his, a lot of specials. So all you need to do is to stand back, let him do the hard work and then just parry him and hit him away. Again, you could use any champs you like. There's a lot of options. You can use any cosmic champ. My favorites will be Captain Marvel, the new one, and Corvus Glaive and Hyperion. But again, use what squad you have available. Your next fight is Spider-Man Stark Enhanced and he has an extra defender node that is arc converted. So what that means if you use a special attack when his AI is active he will receive a bar of power. So the best way to avoid that is to use a cosmic champ as soon as you hit him his AI is activated. But if you don't have a cosmic champ make sure to give him a heavy hit or a special attack and drop him down so his AI goes inactive before you use a special. Otherwise he will gain a bar of power so if you already have given him two bars he will go to the third and he will drop his L3 and already I hate his L2 because it's a lot of block damage for no reason. So I would suggest staying at L1, keep using a heavy or just use a cosmic champ straight up and he will die really quick.
Then we have a mini boss of sorts that is Sentinel. He it has Biohazard, so if you hit him, there's a chance of getting bleeds on yourself. If you hit him in a block, there's a chance of getting poison on yourself. So the best way to go about it is to use a poison and bleed immune chunk. Apart from that, there is another node on him that's bubble shield. Is you can just block him only ten times. As you can see in this fight, there is after the armor buff, there is a red icon. So if you block him ten times, he becomes unblockable, and then he can just lay into you. So the best way to fight with against this node is to intercept or you can hit in his blocks and push him to a L1 as soon as he uses L1 you can go back and hit him now as I'm using Iceman and I have class disadvantage this is going to be a really long fight for no reason if you have if you guys have Corvus Glaive or if you have Warlock or even Omega Red or even Ghost will work against him this is a much much shorter fight because I'm using focus they have champs so I'm just using what I have available so this is going to be a long fight, so you can just skip ahead if you like. This is just to give you an idea how you can go in, push him to an L1, and then let him use his L1. And if he does not have a bar of power, you can go into his block, hit him, swipe back, as soon as he dash in, you intercept, and then push him to L1. And you just rinse and repeat that until he dies. Also, I'm not using any boosts during this run. So even if you're using 455 champs, if you don't have deep Ross Trist, and if you use like boost and your damage can go up by 30-40%, this fight will also become much easier.
and he's almost dead that took forever that's like a five minute fight but anyway moving on it's the boss and it's ultron from labyrinth of legends now there's quite a few nodes on him you need to be wary about apart from the special delivery and combo party the global node there is aggressive aggressive armor so every two seconds if you don't land a hit he will gain an armor buff and he has emp modification so if he has if he uses a special attack he will place a passive electric shock on you that will like really kill you fast and also as soon as he goes down below 50% bar of power he's got also he has sprint on him that means that if you have any buffs on you he will gain as long as you have any buffs on you he will gain power so connect that with the EMP modification he will be sending special attacks every two seconds and finally there is also spry on him that if you miss it, it places a debuff on you fatigue that reduces your damage so when you think about it it feels like it's a lot but trust me you can easily counter all of that with either medusa or by nebula because both of them reduce the ability accuracy of robots so if you're going to use medusa just try to land an armor shatter on him as soon as the armor shatters none of his nodes work so you can just go on hitting him without even caring about special delivery he will not you lose your health and he will not gain power as well so it will be a really easy fight another good one is nebula make sure you stay above 10 electroshock charges and if you start with proxima midnight you will already have 10 charges so again you won't have to worry about special delivery you can just go and really lay into him so, and when you have 20 electric shock charges and an L2 ready just parry him transfer your shocks hit him in an L2 that will multiply the shock charges by 2 and he will lose more than half of his health so if you you can do repeat the same process you can even solo with either medusa or nebula in my case i really messed up a lot on this fight which i don't usually do but then again that happens um, the next counter that i have that i have on 345 is gladiator hulk now the reason he's such a good counter is because he has an ability face me so whenever there is any passive effect uh, passive damage effect on you on a, a gladiator hulk he regens it back so if you notice ultron is using a lot of his specials but they're not damaging me I, i'm actually recovering power and because of that any damage i receive i'm gonna recover it right back so that's why even if i use 15 hit combos here the special delivery node his de its region also does not affect me i gain it right back up so gulk is a really really good option for this fight but only one thing you need to care about is his evade so just keep an eye on the right side of the screen as soon as there's a green evade you just start blocking just right there i couldn't block because i was too busy mashing the buttons and i missed and he throws a special tag right at me and i die and after this you will see that i will die with angela as well and i will barely able to take him down with proxima midnight because of the shocks but you get the gist and there's a lot of other champs you can kill him with the if you have a char uh, corvus with charges he will kill him down really fast even hyperion will do good but he will still have problem with the electric shocks i hope you really enjoyed the video and you find it helpful if you did make sure to leave a like share and subscribe leave a comment down below that really helps me out a lot and other than that guys stay safe and have a great day and I'll see you next time.